Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today I'm going to talk to you about Target Men and I'm going to explain how to get the best out of them. Now the Target Man is so difficult to deal with, no matter how much ability you've got or how much skill you are, when the ball's in the box and you've got people like Giroud and Dzeko attacking the ball, it's virtually impossible to stop at times and I'm going to show you how just exactly to use them in the best way to get the most out of them. And basically, they bring players into play. They can uh, hold the ball up nicely. And obviously, they're a massive threat in the air. So stay tuned. Obviously, we know the key strengths of a target man is their ability in the air. You can see here, nice little headed goal there from uh, Giroud. And that's, that's just one of the aspects um, of having a target man. They are going to be a threat. And, you know, if you get the right matchup, where you're far taller and far more physical than your opponent, then you are going to score uh, a number of goals. And it's going to be very, very hard for your opponent to actually stop that. Especially if you're very, very good with the, uh, the Super Council, which you're going to see in this clip here. And so using your fullbacks to get down the wings. And there we go. A little bit of Super Council there. Just to pull off the defender, get inside the near post and... Yeah, it looks, looks like a really easy header, and it was because uh, I was able to peel off. Watch watch my movement here. Get in front, and if you haven't seen my super, uh, my headers and volleys tutorial, then be sure to check that out because that will teach you exactly how to do what I did here. There you go. Look at the distance I've got ahead of my man. But I think the key thing is the link-up play. You know, just bringing another players into play with this little header. Um, strong running here, just pushing the defender, using his physical. And don't do anything like too, you know, tricky or anything. No skills as you saw there. It's literally just get the ball and lay it off. Get the ball, lay it off, and keep it really, really simple. Um, and they, it's a really good way. So you're under pressure here. Gives you a good target man just to lay the ball up, bring others into play, and then off you go again. You know, then play it back. But I'm not trying to like dribble past people with Giroud because that's not his that's not his game and then you know he just holds it up and then he's back in the box challenging for the header and it's all really really good stuff um, again hold up play nothing special just link it get it wide get in the box wait for the cross here's uh, Edin Jacko night you know just linking up the play heads it down to his man gets it wide Waits for the fullbacks to overlap, plays into the winger, I'm sure, here. Yeah, looks for the return pass. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Can tell you exactly what I'm going to do before I do it. Ball into the box. Unlucky that time, but gets the second chance and gets a little back in for the net. That's Adam Dzeko. But yeah, you know, the goals aren't, aren't the most important thing for me. It's, it's all about the link-up play. So this bit here. Now I'm just going to slow this down again because this is really, really cool. So I've played it into Jacko here. And watch Sandro, number 12. He tucks in as soon as I do this here, because he's watching that midfield runner, and that leaves the space in behind for uh, El Shuari, I believe that is. And that just allows you to get, uh, you know, just to create chances through on goal. And unlucky with the chip. Again, link up play, holds it up there, but makes the run. Super Council just to take it away from the defender. And with Jekko, you know, he can use his feet as well as his head. So, yeah, you know, he's got a, he's got a pretty beasty shot. And uh, it's always worth, uh, worth having a crack with him. Look at that for a goal, Bosch. Yeah, so he's, uh, you know... Don't, don't just look to use their heading ability all the time. They can use their feet. They are footballers after all. And bang. Look at that. But, you know, again, from goal kicks, you can just relieve your pressure. Just knock it up. And uh, look at that. Look at that. You know, just to be able to bring that ball down and then lay it off. I will uh, explain how to do that very shortly. 
And here you're just going to see uh, Jack here just shield the ball off the defender. Just keep moving the ball forward. Little little movements. So he's just shielding the ball from, uh, I think that's Matuidi. And then he's just laid the ball off. And generally, just the, the little hold-up play there from high balls. Got a bit fortunate on that, uh, that bit of control there. And here, nice little ball around the corner. And look how he just held off the defender, just stopping getting back to chase Pastore. He was able to put a little finish in there. Nice, nice little chip. Okay, I'm just going to break this goal kick down. So when you play it long, you just want to back into your defender. So push the left stick towards the defender. So in this case, I will be pushing left on the left analog stick. Then just before the ball lands at your feet, or chest you just want to move your player towards the ball creating a little bit of separation between you and the defender this will allow you to turn which you're going to see in your next step okay so you can see a degree of separation there and once you've got that you can then just use the left on stick to either go up or down uh, depending which way you want to go obviously if I went up there's another Juventus player there so that would just put me in danger so you can see there I've put pushed down on the left on stick to move away and take the ball into control. Now it's target men are really useful for free kicks or indirect free kicks. So you, one of my favorites is fire target, which you're going to see here, just bending a high ball, holding the special controls and pressing the lob pass button, pulling back so you get that elevated height, and then launching it into the penalty box to create a bit of mayhem. And you can see here you can gain free kicks using the target man just by holding the ball up shielding the ball you haven't got to do anything on the controller just let go of the controller let him take the ball uh, but in this instance he was fouled by Regani and once again another far target free kick which I'm just going to bend to the far post the other one is uh, target man which is quite good if you want to place the ball more centrally and just try and flick it on with the header the key with the far target is you just want to get it back into the danger zone but unfortunately on this occasion no one was able to follow up but it, you can see there the, the potential and just generally the the target man is just just a menace you can see in this clip he's he's flicking the ball up and then i just have a long shot here crazy shot and then he's just able to get on the rebound and put it in the back of the net beautiful goal but the target men are just you know just be an absolute just try and be a menace with the defense just be relentless look trying to Trying to sombrero with uh, Jekka, you know, it's probably never going to work. But it's just, you're just in there, you're just creating, a, just creating a mess. And uh, I think just the best way to explain it is just, they are just a menace, and uh, and it can be very, very uh, awkward to defend, and give you a few concerns. You and you're never safe with a with a target man. Look at that, bang! Great header. That was against Chiellini. So that concludes the tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video of, uh, you know, talking about target men and how to get the best out of them. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give a thumbs down. And if you've got any questions about anything you've seen in this video, then please leave a comment below. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll catch you again in my next video. Bye-bye.